Hello. Uh, so I'm going to uh, tell you about this uh, embedded systems uh, master's program. Uh, so this is the newest program that we have. And in fact, the first uh, serious set of admissions happened uh, only this year. Uh, so we got about 60, 70 applicants, and we'll have about 10 to 15 students joining in fall. Uh, I don't think any of you are really into this program, but I thought I'll tell you anyway. And uh, if any of you are interested, you could uh, look at some of our courses. So as we just heard, so we have, uh, the department has this wonderful tradition of uh, uh, having specialized master's programs. So we heard about graphics and robotics, and they have been uh, very popular with students and uh, are very popular with the faculty also because they're typically associated with a research group and a lab. Uh, so embedded systems are, of course, everywhere. So uh, uh, for example, if you look at a modern car company like GM or Ford, most of their new innovations are coming from uh, uh, advances in software. So in fact, GM is more of a software company because of that. And uh, well, one problem is that because of software, the cars also have bugs, and that cause crashes, as we have uh, been hearing about Toyota. So the goal of the Embedded Systems program is to make sure that people who are developing software for applications such as uh, automobiles and avionics uh, have a rigorous training in, uh, in all the related disciplines. So this is uh, uh, interdisciplinary between computer science and electrical engineering. So at Penn, the two departments are computer and information science and uh, electrical and systems engineering. So it's, it's a joint program. And our mission is to train the next generation of engineers in fundamentals of embedded system design and implementation. Uh, uh, so our, uh, the curriculum is set up so that you will get some introduction to control systems, some introduction to software engineering, some introduction to hardware design. And the incoming students would have a, an undergraduate degree either in computer science or in computer engineering or in electrical engineering. And of course, we don't have a tradition of graduating students, so this would be our first batch. But the target industry would be uh, places like Boeing and GM, and uh, there are a lot of defense uh, industries around here like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman. Uh, and also in medical devices, so a lot of functionality is now moving towards automation and uh, say an uh, autonomous infusion pump. So the issues that are involved in designing such a system are similar to the issues in uh, designing say, safety critical software for, for avionics. So the topics we want to cover are uh, hardware software co-design. So the, People working in this industry should know about the entire stack, so how to program with microcontrollers, sensors, actuators, from that all the way to the high level where how to uh, build a high level model of your system and to organize it into different components and do component based modeling. Uh, real time operating systems, and there is this emerging uh, buzz about cyber physical systems. So these are systems that integrate control, computation, and communication. Uh, so basically, the computer is not a standalone box, but it's uh, working in the physical world, interacting uh, to the responses it receives from the physical world. So how to think about such systems, that's uh, a key topic. And uh, because of the expertise of the faculty who are involved in this uh, program, we have a lot of uh, emphasis on safety critical systems, where approving assurance has a, a high premium. So here is the curriculum. So uh, it's a new program, so it's evolving. But the four uh, required courses are actually be, uh, will be offered starting this fall. And some of you, particularly those who are in robotics, may find some of these courses interesting. So the first course is Embedded Software for uh, Life Critical Applications. So this is a project-based course which looks at medical devices and it's sort of the analog of classical software engineering course in computer science where we would go from requirements all the way to the implementation and looking at various issues. Uh, 
uh, in spring I will be teaching a course called Principles of Embedded Computation and this is really the analog of uh, classical automata theory and computability course in computer science. But here we would be looking more at concurrent computation, reactive computation, what happens when you have control and uh, physical systems involved in computation, so how to systematically think about uh, this form of computation. Uh, then in spring we are starting a new course called Embedded Computing Platforms and this is focused more on uh, programming of devices and open platforms, so for example iPhone programming or uh, uh, Android, so so variety of these open platforms that are coming up for uh, uh, programming of uh, systems where you would have to do some signal processing, uh, worry about multimedia in the context of resource constraints and put together various applications. And then uh, we also have a fall course which is focused on uh, re real-time sensing and communication. So this is a systems course where you would be building networks of uh, devices. So for example, you can uh, put sensors all through the building, measure temperature and make some decisions and do actuation. So how can these uh, elements c communicate with one another and how do you f build systems that are fault tolerant and robust? So that would be addressed in this course. Uh, like any other master's course, uh, this uh, the unit 10 courses uh, for the master's degree and so besides these four required courses, you can take uh, 500 level uh, electives from CIS or ESC. Uh, and we, the, the program is affiliated with this uh, center which is relatively new, it's called Precise and it's basically for research in embedded systems. Uh, and these are the faculty involved in this and if you are interested you can come and talk to us. Thanks.